Hey, Sam. Do you know Edinburgh? I've just got an email from a friend of mine who lives there. She wants me to go and visit her in the summer. Do you know what it's like? Yeah, I went there last year. I loved it. It's brilliant. You must go. Was there much to do there? Well, because it's the capital, people think it's a really big city. It's actually not that big, but there are hundreds of things to do there. We went in August, and the international festival and the fringe festival were on. Edinburgh is really famous for its festivals. Oh, really? What kind of festivals? They're arts and culture festivals. We saw concerts, comedy shows, plays. There were a lot of events in the streets too. August is a great time to go. What about sightseeing? Is there anything interesting to see? Yes, we visited the castle. It was really cool. It's on the top of this great rock. When we climbed to the top, we had a spectacular view of the city. Oh yeah, and then at then at one o'clock they do this thing where they fire a cannon. A cannon? Why do they do that? It's an old tradition. Originally, it was for ships to know the time, but now I think they probably just do it for the tourists. My friend says the food's good there too. Too. Yeah, we ate really well. We had shortbread every day. Do you know what shortbread is? It's a type of biscuit they make really well in Scotland. I remember we bought shortbread and souvenirs on the Royal Mile. It's a really famous road that goes down from the castle back into the city. We walked all along the Royal Mile. It took ages because my mom wanted to look in every different shop, and my dad stopped and took hundreds of photos. People speak English, right? Yeah, I mean, some people speak Scots and some speak Scottish Gaelic, but people always spoke to us in English. Sometimes it was with a strong Scottish accent, but I always understood them. No excuses, Sarah. Just go and visit your friend, and ask if I can come too. Hey, Sam. Do you know Edinburgh? I've just got an email from a friend of mine who lives there. She wants me to go and visit her in the summer. Do you know what it's like? Yeah, I went there last year. I loved it. It's brilliant. You must go. Was there much to do there? Well, because it's the capital, people think it's a really big city. It's actually not that big, but there are hundreds of things to do there. We went in August, and the international festival and the fringe festival were on. Edinburgh is really famous for its festivals. Oh, really? What kind of festivals? They're arts and culture festivals. We saw concerts, comedy shows, plays. There were a lot of events in the streets too. August is a great time to go. What about sightseeing? Is there anything interesting to see? Yes, we visited the castle. It was really cool. It's on the top of this great rock. When we climbed to the top, we had a spectacular view of the city. Oh yeah, and then at then at one o'clock they do this thing where they fire a cannon. A cannon? Why do they do that? It's an old tradition. Originally, it was for ships to know the time, but now I think they probably just do it for the tourists. My friend says the food's good there too. Too. Yeah, we ate really well. We had shortbread every day. Do you know what shortbread is? It's a type of biscuit they make really well in Scotland. I remember we bought shortbread and souvenirs on the Royal Mile. It's a really famous road that goes down from the castle back into the city. We walked all along the Royal Mile. 
It took ages because my mom wanted to look in every different shop, and my dad stopped and took hundreds of photos. People speak English, right? Yeah, I mean, some people speak Scots and some speak Scottish Gaelic, but people always spoke to us in English. Sometimes it was with a strong Scottish accent, but I always understood them. No excuses, Sarah. Just go and visit your friend, and ask if I can come too. Listened. Liked. Hated. Decided. Loved. Needed. Played. Started. Stayed. Wanted. Washed. Watched. Worked. Last year, I had a brilliant holiday. I went to Barcelona with my family, my mum, my dad, and my brother. We went by plane. It took about two hours to get there from London.、Uh, we stayed at a fantastic hotel called the Hotel Portofino Portofino. It was near the city centre. We did some sightseeing. We saw the Sagrada Familia. It's incredible. They started building it over a hundred years ago, but it's not finished yet. We climbed to the top and had a spectacular view of the view of the city. We also walked along Las Ramblas. There were lots of restaurants there. In general, the food was really good. We had paella twice. It was delicious. 
There are shops in the Rambla, so when we were there, we bought souvenirs too. Bought a T-shirt that says "I love Barcelona" for a friend of mine. Oh, and one evening we went to the Camp Nou, the football stadium where Barcelona play. That was really cool. Oh, I had a great time in Barcelona. I loved everything about it. About it, I want to go back one day. Last year, I had a brilliant holiday. I went to Barcelona with my family, my mum, my dad, and my brother. We went by plane. It took about two hours to get there from London.、Uh, we stayed at a fantastic hotel called the Hotel Portofino Portofira. It was near the city centre. We did some sightseeing. We saw the Sagrada Familia. It's incredible. They started building it over a hundred years ago, but it's not finished yet. We climbed to the top and had a spectacular view of the view of the city. We also walked along Las Ramblas. There were lots of restaurants there. In general, the food was really good. We had paella twice. It was delicious. There are shops in the Rambla, so when we were there, we bought souvenirs too. Bought a T-shirt that says "I love Barcelona" for a friend of mine. Oh, and one evening we went to the Camp Nou, the football stadium where Barcelona play. That was really cool. Oh, I had a great time in Barcelona. I loved everything about it. About it. I want to go back one day.